Thank you, Nelu, for doing this. Um, I appreciate it. I've been waiting for a couple months to do on that. So, <laughs> You're welcome. But yeah, this is this is great, and I can put first, what. The first time you had a chance to do that. Yes, I've been <laughs> waiting, waiting for quite a while. I know we tried a few times. So, but this is good to have both you and Nelu in the discussion, and we'll we'll be capturing this recording. Uh, and the spirit. And Aura is the first one. The the, and then, uh, we're doing a ritual of a flower bath, and after that, it's one or two times the flower bath. I forgot, sir. No, one was enough. Yeah, one. It's, and then I smelled like a flower for uh, days. Yeah, the magical things that I remember is. I when before before the flower bite I just see uh Neil with the with the common aura is uh, uh is uh, like usually I see him but after the flower bath some magical happening is uh some magical happen is uh I turned gold he's like uh, yeah <laughs> he's like He's like uh, coming out from the water from uh, from the Shangri-La at Himalaya uh, mountain, and he with I, I can see my my with my own eyes with my regular eyes that is there's a gold gold uh, shield around his body, and then. Uh, I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, everybody see that, and it, oh my god! <laughs> uh, and then uh, after the flower bath, it's uh, they said that this is for uh, to open his aura, so he can have uh, get through the the other dimension. Uh, I don't know what they mentioned, what they uh, they mean, but uh, this is this is connected with the spiritual way, like like uh, like the prince said. And then uh, after that, we're going to the orphanage, and Neil, we 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 give them uh, we gave them a, a box of money. rice, right? Rice, a couple box of rice. We gave him that, and we, I think we gave him a little bit of just a little bit of money. Yeah, to buy a rice, right? Yes, yes, yes. And then after that, we're going to the ranch. Uh, it's a difficult place to ride with the car because uh, the road is in the jungle. And then we arrive at the ranch. After that. Oh, Nello, that, Nello, it, it, huh? it, 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 the way I look at it would be the way Gene looks at it. I believe is not. It wasn't really a ranch. What it was? It yeah, was like it's a, really a ranch, but but it's not a ranch. But uh, there's a horse over there, right? I didn't see the horse. Oh, horse statue, not the horse. <laughs> it's a horse statue, sir. Oh, oh, you call it a station? Uh, like a ranch is called a station. No, it's the 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 house is is made from uh, from a uh, from a uh, wood from a tree, so it's like a ranch house. I mean, like log a log house. The a log house. house. Log house. Right, 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 right. Sorry, yeah, log house. Okay. Uh, I remember that. And then, and then, uh, but only one people over there, only one person. Mm hmm. Yeah. Right. He's the yes. he's the he's the keeper, and then uh, the keeper of that area, and then uh, Utomo and Yunus asking permission to going to to the spot around that area, and he bring us there uh, in the middle of the river. We doing the ritual. Yeah, but we uh, had to climb. We had to climb the rocks. 
yeah, we climbed the rocks and With there's difficulty. a river over there. We climbed then, the rocks with uh, difficulty, if you remember. People were slipping. Yeah, very difficult. <laughs> For me, it's difficult. It's... Uh, it's 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 uh yeah but it wasn't difficult for tomo in in, in Eunice. they went on top of the rocks like they were part of the rock yeah it, they, they jump <laughs> yeah but you know something they look they remind me of the movies when those people are climbing the sides of the 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 buildings and so on they did it so smooth hey they didn't break they didn't break stride they were even in the mountains when we climbed the mountains uh they were they were so so smooth it's like they've done it their whole life. Don't you think? Uh-huh. Anyway, continue. We went into the we went into the woods. We we got to we got to the site. We had to climb the rocks. Actually we and climbed then, uh, actually we climbed down, right? Not up. Down. Up. We climbed up, okay. <clears throat> we climbed up and then they're doing something first to you before both of them. They gave me the bag. Oh, they were going to give me a bag of dirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. We bring, oh, yeah. We forgot it. We forgot to mention it. We bring a, we bring a bag of uh, ritual equipment. And then uh, Neil must break that, uh, what is it? Poultry, like poultry. It was dirt and cement in the bag. And there wasn't it's any flowers. Pottery, right? Yeah, there wasn't any flowers. Or, no, it was a flower. Uh, there wasn't any flowers in the bag at all. It was dirt and cement. I looked. And, but after, it, yeah, it, it, it was a flower in there. It's a small rain. Uh, at, uh, uh, it's, going, it's going dark. Around five forty five PM when we arrive. Yeah, but we, we and won't when we we're doing the to... ritual is until seven PM. Mm -hmm. Uh we are around one hour around that river. And when you are at the top of the of the uh the hill? The rock. When you when you sit down at the top of the rock, and Utomo doing uh, some ritual things, uh, and remember, after that, do you remember it, when Tomo uh, was meditating and all of a sudden he started freaking out and making all kinds of noises? No, no, it's it's Yonus, it's Yonus, it's Yonus meditating and uh, and uh, yeah, to but, open but the, the gate. But Thomas is the one that uh, that. Ended up going. Utomo to behind Yunus. Utomo, who's the one? Oh yeah, yeah. Utomo is is the one who's uh, falling down. Yes, we we had to help him. Everybody helped him. Yeah, Utomo falling down at the uh, at the rock. Then after that, suddenly the orbs coming. And the uh, wait, wait Nilu, can the, you go back when you said that? Tama was doing ritual things. What was he doing with the ritual? He's doing, I don't, I don't know what he's, what he's uh, spelling with Jonas. Both of them. They were, is, they were hoping for us. They were hoping. They were hoping. They were hoping for a site. They were looking for a site. A, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they're looking for a sign, right? Something to. They needed to see something, to, in order to move on. Okay. Yes. Correct. Okay. Right. Okay. Between us, we'll get it. Yes, this is wonderful. This is what I've been hoping for for quite a while. So thank you. Yeah. So, Nelo, go ahead. <coughs> and after that, uh, when I see the orbs, they I'm the, the really, first one. Who's, who's first, showing. Of all, first of all, they were, mount, they were meditating. And Tomo had already gone through the bad time. And he, was not, he wasn't meditating now. He was, he was exhausted or whatever. Eunice was up there, and so was Tomo still up there. But all of a sudden, Nelu is the one who said, there's something here, there's something here. Uh, there it is. There's a light, there's a light. And it was dark there, by the way, like I've told you many times. It, it, it was very dark. 
and uh, all of a sudden, there was a light coming up, and Thomas, in uh, not Thomas, Charles, Eunice, Eunice, and Eunice, and and Tomo went running off the rocks, and they too, too, and uh, they got down to, to see what was coming up, and what was coming up was a uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Nalu was a, a white orb that was creating a light. Okay? Yeah. And that orb, according to Eunice and Tomo, was my, supposed to be my energy. Yeah, right. Okay, my energy was inside there. But while they were seeing that, which I never saw, as, as you know, Nalo, I never saw it except for on the video, I saw a rod, a rod in a cavern going up and down and swinging around, bringing up all kinds of light. And I asked Nalo, do you see that? Do you see that? And Nalo says, no, sir, I don't. He said, what are you looking at? And I said, I'm looking at the rod over there. He says, sir, I don't see that. And uh, we took pictures, though, of that area. And so that the next day when Nalo showed me the picture, the rod was there. Nalo says, sir, it really was there. But that's when Nalo also explained to me that we're, I'm on a dif different frequency than they are right now. Mm -hmm, right. And, and he, anyway, I remember some, Nalo, that, that, that getting back to the orb, they were all down looking at the orb. Charles too saw the orb. Everybody saw the orb. And I saw the orb on the video. And I had never seen it before until I watched the video just about two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Huh? Did you saw I it? Never, <laughs> I had never seen it. I never saw the video on the orb until two, three weeks ago. Then you realize that it's orb. <laughs> I said, oh, shit, that's what it looks like. But I, I still saw the the rod. Because anyway, the orb is uh, around uh, around uh, six feet from where we're standing. Yes. Not, it's not close with us. I was sitting on a rock by myself, remember? Yeah, yeah, right. It's, uh, it's, uh, uh, I just, I just maybe one or two feet uh, far from you, sir. But uh, the orb is a little bit far. You were up. Because Nailu. you were up with Charles. You and Charles yeah. were together. I was down on this one rock all by myself. You guys were up more than two feet. But uh, I couldn't reach out and touch you. You probably had to be 10 feet, 12 feet. It had to be. Yeah. Because you went, you were up, I was down. And then if you look at the rock come on, there's only one rock. I had to I had to get off that rock to get on another rock. The picture shows that. So anyway, okay, go ahead. The the, the orb's coming up. Yeah. Nail, and then Nail spots it. Hello? Yes. Nail yeah. spots and then, it. then uh I I forgot after the orbs. Uh, I, I is it know going to Scott Charles, Boomy all right or not? I know Charles said it it showed a bright light because it was very dark. If you started yeah, well, the seven. Nalo, Nalo, when you spotted yeah. when you spotted the light, the orb, Tomo and and Eunice, Eunice in particular went running to see if this was the sign. That's what they were looking for, a sign. If this was the sign that would allow us to move on. And they went running down to the, down to see this thing, and it was coming up. And, and Eunice, I think, was trying to grab it or something. I don't know. But uh, in, the, in the video, it looks like he's trying to grab it. But uh, they were looking at that. You were there, too. So th th that, was the, that was the sign. That there, they thought, and I thought the rod was the sign. Because and I didn't even think it was a sign. I think it was just something I saw. And that's when you told me fre my frequency is different than everybody else's right now. So I saw that. You saw what you saw. But in the end, we were able to leave. We're able to leave the place and, and go back to work on something else. We had to get out of there first of all, and, and the and the the light was bright enough to take us all the way back to the car. If you remember, mm -hmm. 
It was like we were being we were being led by something. What else did mm -hmm. you see? What else did you see? Um, where do we get the stick? The stick? I got the stick when we were out at the koi pond. In Samarang, at the restaurant. Yeah, but we have it, we have it from ritual too, right? We, we, not for that ritual. We didn't get it yet. Yeah, I put... After this, we went back to the hotel after, after this. We went back to the hotel. And then, and then the next day, or we went, we met, it was, with, everybody met up with these other elders. Or, or people that are going to help us out in uh, at this restaurant, and that's when that's when I got the uh, the Sakano transfer of power. Uh huh. That's when I'm looking. That's where you see the picture where I'm looking at it, holding it in my hands. You remember they told me not to put it in my hands because it would burn my hands, and I told them. I said, I, I told. I think it was Tomo. I told. I said, look. I said, if this if this is mine, is this mine? He said, yes. And I said, if this is mine, then damn it, I'm going to hold it. I said, if it burns me, then it can't be mine. And I took it in my hands, and it didn't burn me. If you remember also, Tomo's son tried to, to tried to grab it, and it knocked him down. And, and, and if you remember, it knocked him down. Oh, I missed the part, sorry. Huh? I I forgot about that thing about the part that part. Yeah, yeah. He he fell uh, down. He fell down. He got up, but his hand was all all, all red, very red inside. That that was. Oh something. yeah 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 yeah. The, inside your room, right? Uh, no. This happened when he when he yes he fell again in a restaurant. If you remember. That restaurant at the pool. No, uh, that's a well, koi pond, right? You might have seen something, Nelo. You might have seen something I didn't. I saw Nelo's, uh, not Nelo, uh, Tomo's son fall in, in the restaurant with the koi, with the fish that we kept throwing things and feeding, feeding them, and so on. When we're all there, that's when I got the uh, Sakano, the Sakano uh, transfer of power, transfer of power. Then, then we went to uh, another restaurant. <coughs> We went to another restaurant, and, and Tomo's son was there, and uh, he touched the the stick, even though uh, the power, the power uh, rod, even though skeptic, even though he was told not to, his father told him not to, but he did, and he, it was like something just threw him to the floor. Yeah, you know, he felt that he was on the floor. That's that's the place you're talking about, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and then there's a lot of things. Then, then keep going. So that was the third spot. That was a third ritual then at the koi pond with the transfer of the stick. That's not a ritual. That's not a ritual. That was a gift for succeeding. Okay. For succeeding. For for making it that far. You see, nobody has ever made it that far. From what I understand, nobody's ever made it beyond the first one. Am I right, Nelu? Yes. Nobody ever made beyond number one, the flower bath. Yes. I got lucky. I got. I, 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 maybe I didn't get lucky. Maybe it was supposed to be me. But the bottom line is, is that uh, we we made it by the first one, and I never really looked at it like rituals. I looked at it like a game. I told you that, Nalo. I, I said yeah. we we I said we won't lose this game. I told Nalo one time we won't. And Nalo says, "Sir, this isn't a game." <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. says, "This isn't the game," and I said, "It's a game to me." I said, "We're playing a game." <laughs> but after that, we after the after going to the koi pond and eating, I ended up with the power stick. Then we then went back to the hotel. What was the name of the hotel we stayed at with that little cutie that I kept I kept teasing? Uh, 
Uh huh. What was the name of that that hotel in Summerlang that we stayed at? Umaya. Who? Umaya. That's it, Kumaya. And uh, and, and the, the military uh, hotel was on the other side. Yeah, it's go. It's uh, the military hotel. It's uh, on the way we're going to Jogikara from Semarang. Yes, but that's where we also met the the Sultan too. But not then. We did it. From there, yeah. from from there the, we went. From there, from the koi pond, we went where next? It's a patrol jasa, right? The Who? the military hotel. The what? Patra, the name of a military hotel. We went. To, well, no, we didn't see the Sultan yet. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Because because but, the Sultan but, came next to next to last even. We had yes. to we had to do more. We had to go to Blita and things before we saw the Sultan. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. To Blita, right? We we went from there back to Blita we, is we, the is the comp is is the uh the place that uh, we saw all those magical things. Well, the, Blitar, the most Blitar. the the most of magical things happen in Blitar. So you think Blitar had some amazing things? Yeah, yeah because I, you must you must climb the bed. <laughs> I was in the bed, and I, I called you, and I told you they were coming to get you. <laughs> yeah, but 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 the the bed is so funny, right? I I, I never saw the bed. So that high, so Nilo must climb the bed. <laughs> yeah, but Nilo, 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 remember, I said I'm gonna have to climb that bed to get in the bed, and we was we were talking, and we turned around and we looked, and there was a, a step ladder. Yeah, how and, you, and you said to the bed. How to, how to going to this to this to this bed? And suddenly, I'm not seeing anything. Just a Neil suitcase over there. Uh, beside the bed, and suddenly beside the suitcase, there is a footstep to to a get up lab. to get yeah, step to lab. get up to yeah yeah. It was right lab. next. To, it was right next to the bed. Yeah, that's the first one, and and then the door closing. Well, then, then they, that, that door wasn't cl closing. Uh, I know what happened there. Is remember what I was told. I was told that somewhere after two o'clock and before four, I might get a visit from a very evil entity. Something that was very scary and everything else. And I thought it was all bullshit. So I said, okay. I said, I'm not afraid. I'll stay. So I had to stay. It was the ritual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I stayed and I went to sleep. And I woke up in the middle of the night with my hairs. The hairs on my arms was, 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 were up, they were standing up, and I felt something near the bed. The room was dark. And I, I said, get the fuck out of here. Just like I did Nailu to the, to the entity in, the, in, the, in Dramayu, the one that was in the corner that hit me when I was in the shower. The one that the Sultan, not Sultan, the prince found in the hall and said, Neil, you have to leave here. You have to go to uh, Cherubon. You have to leave here. And I said, no, I'm not leaving. Remember? Yeah. We, we, ch we chased it out. And if it stayed, it stayed quiet. I chased this one out too, doing the same thing. And the person who ta taught me that spell was basically Kathy Mattinson, who told me, be very firm with it. Don't play with it. You know, just tell it to get lost, that you're protected by Mary. Magdalena and all this other with the blood of Jesus Christ and everything else. And I did that. And I did that. Remember, I told you I did that. Yeah. And then. I said, now get the hell out of this room before before I get out of this bed and da 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 da. And all of a sudden you hear a door, a door bang. But there's three locks on the door. And in the other room, I had I had bags against the door. 
So they didn't, he didn't go out that door. But he went out the one with the three locks. And it was a big bang. Yeah, right. And that, that, and that is, not a, is not a light door. It's a, it's a big door. Huge door. So it's impossible for for wind to to move the door. <laughs> and they looked there with three locks on it. Yeah, and 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 three locks on it. <laughs> there were three locks on it, and they looked. And 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 that was that was pretty tough there. That was pretty tough, and that was tough for them for the belief that that door had been opened and slammed. And as hot as it was, and when I when I opened the door to look. I saw the security running to the room from both sides because they knew what we were doing, you know? Yeah. So they came running from both sides and they, the guy asked me, uh, are you okay? I said, yes. I said, what's the matter? Did you hear anything? I said, no. And he looked at me and said, no, I, no, I, I was slipping. I didn't want to tell him that, I, that there was some crazy thing in my room. You know, I called Nalo and I said, Nalo, it's on its way to your room, run. <laughs> <laughs> they was, don't tell me that, sir. Don't tell me that. <laughs> but Neil, the the my the Mayu entity was after the Blita. So how long ago was that? Do you think it was the same entity? No, 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 no. This this is entirely different. Entirely different. This one here was this here was something that had been going on for a long time in that room. If you were going to stay in that room, you had to deal with this, and, and nobody could deal with it. Nobody could deal with it. It was a big room. Uh, it was pretty a pretty big place for which Sicano used as an office in Belita. They had a lot of a lot of uh, uh, souvenirs from the from the Sicano time. It was quite it was quite an interesting room, very interesting. Okay, so you're talking. You're t now talking about Belita again. So well, we we haven't left Belita. The, the door the door that slammed was in Belita. Yeah, okay. it was in Belita. Okay. And then they look, The next morning, we we, we had breakfast together, and uh, and we talked about it. Everybody talked about that. But getting back to back to the. To the orphanage area. The next day, when we woke up before we left that hotel, you remember Eunice and, and uh, Thomas went back to the site. They wanted to retrieve the orb. Remember? Mm -hmm. They wanted to get the orb. They wanted to give me the orb. But but in the process of reaching reaching or whatever, uh, something happened and the orb broke. So otherwise, Gene, I'd have an orb right now of my own energy under a, under a glass somewhere in an office next to next to my desk. And whenever I get tired, I'd put my hand on top of it, and I'd have immediate energy. Oh. Of my own, of my own. Yes. Ah. Okay. That's that's the thing that was amazing, is that I could just reach out and touch it, and I'd get a boost of my energy for myself. And you that's have that, you have that in your office now. No, it broke. I said. Oh. When they went to get it, it broke. When they picked it up, it broke. They came back and, but they tried. They tried. So now we're now we're, we're beyond that. I just wanted to make sure we didn't forget that little piece. Okay. So it's, it's an amazing little piece. It's spiritual in many ways. Then we then we went to like we just said the Blita, and mm -hmm. then from Blita, uh, this first but, night. Because you said that there were all more magical things. So what I picked up was how the uh, the stairs to the bed kind of appeared, and then this entity. But were there other magical things at, in Belita? Well, yeah, that was that was mag that was magical in a way, but we had more things to do in Belita at that point in time. They, what was it? We went to see the Karatom or the or the or the the, the mausoleum of uh, Sukarno. Yes. Yeah. Mausoleum. And they had no the, the grave. The what? We're going to the Sukarno grave. 
Chicano's grave, yes. Th that was a mausoleum, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, including including uh, the mausoleum. And it, he had that those black black play, uh, uh, stones Stone. the, at the back of his grave. Yes. And, th and that lion was in there. Yes, right, correct. Remember the lion come? Did you see the lion yeah, come to the, if, come look right at us? If we uh, seeing from inside the camera, and then uh, we uh, that stone will, uh, and we give the light from that com camera, and the stone will change like a uh, full body of lion. Yes, yes, it was. We could see it, Jean. It was like a white lion, correct? Black. Yeah, no. white lion, right? It was white lion? Yeah, but it was a black stone. You saw a white lion, Nalo? Yeah, white lion there. I saw black, but go ahead. It's again we. It's, no, it's, the stone is black, but when we give the light, is is like a white lion. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, now, to go further than that, uh, we left there after we had many prayers and flowers and things. We, we, and, and Jean, you got, what you got to understand is Sakano was with me a lot. Mm. A lot. Sakano, Sakano was talking to me throughout this whole damn thing, really. This, this whole thing was he, was, he would be talking to me. You know what I mean? When uh, you know, when we got the seance to the seance in the end, when when uh, Eunice was sitting on the floor in in bleed tire again, I believe, uh, what happened was is out of Eunice's mouth came Sicano. Nalo, you were in the room. Yeah, right. You were in the room when it said that uh, when when Eunice said you do everything that Neil Keenan tells you to do. You don't ask questions. You do it. He was very firm. He was very loud. And it wasn't Eunice. It was somebody else. It was Sakano. And that's about the time when also I when I had spoken to Sakano before all this happened. And later I ended up with that gold finger. Remember that, Nelu? Uh -huh. I still get that every now and then. It still comes. Whenever I get I have I get excited or something, the finger starts turning gold. But it's not my middle finger, so I can't show anybody it because everybody thinks I'm telling them, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I thought that you had your gold finger after you had the flower bath, the the aura of the gold. Yeah. But you... No, no, oh. it came later. It came later. It came, it came at the time when we're in that room in, uh, in Belita, I believe. With the seance. No. Before that, I had the thing, right around there, but before that, I believe. I had the finger before that, right, Nalo? Yeah. I had the finger then. Nalo looked at my finger, he's a doctor. Nalo said, don't know what that is, sir. Could be your liver, could be your kidney. I said, how come it's coming up now? <laughs> hmm. It was, uh oh. Gold finger. Gold finger. <laughs> Gold. Yeah, so Gold like with, with, <laughs> with babies, when their liver isn't developed, they have jaundice. So that's what you were thinking, Nalu, that he may have a little liver malfunction, jaundice, to make it. <laughs> <laughs> so. No, he, and, and anyway, it wasn't jaundice. Uh, yeah. If I had jaundice, I'd be scratching through my skin. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, and I wasn't scratching. I was just flabbergasted. You just, I, I was wondering how much my finger uh, weighed so I could go cash it in. <laughs> well, the image that you have of your finger also has an image of Sukarno. That's in the background. That's the picture that Nalo took. Right. That's in the pixels. In the pixels, that's Sukarno. Nalo, you know what we're talking about, yes? Yeah. Okay, that's in the in the room when Sakano was behind me in the pixels when I was showing my finger to someone. 
I think it was Charles. So that, that was it. Okay, now let's go to the next one. We're now in the, the Sultan's office room. And we didn't do the ritual. We didn't do the seance then. We came back there a second time, didn't we? Yeah. Because the second uh, time we went, yeah. we, went to, we went to the Kraton, no, the Boca, Boko. Boko, Chandi, uh, Tampa, not Kraton, not Kraton. It's yeah, a Tampa, it's, it Boko. Was, remember, the, the story is, is the queen used to sit up there and get a nice breeze. Right, nice wind. And they told me to sit someplace, and they sat someplace else. I had my hat on. And all of a sudden, my hat blew off because it was a heavy wind. But I looked at those guys where they were sitting. And they were sitting in the sun, and there was nothing wrong. I hey, don't you feel that? <laughs> just They were going to get my hat, and they, they just laughed. They sat down, and they watched, and... I had to meditate myself a little bit, and all of a sudden, the first thing that came out was, what was it, Nilo? a goat? Goats came out, goats. I was, on the, I was up on the, on the rock, <coughs> where there used to be a queen seat there, or whatever her name was. And this was a long time ago, <coughs> a long, long time ago. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about when the queen did it. And it was a very spiritual place. And I sat I sat on the, on the rock. And all of a sudden, I think it, the first thing that showed up in the field in front of me, see, the queen used to look down and she'd see her minions. She'd see her people out there. When I sat down, I think it was three goats that came out. Am I right? First. Did you see them, Nalo? I never asked you that. Did you see them? Hello? Yes. Did you did you yes. see the goats? Nailu, did you see the goats that came out when I was on the rock uh, in that in that uh the the Karaton? Well I guess it was or whatever. <clears throat> yeah, uh three or four goats, right? Yes, and then they, they stayed there staring at me, remember? The, the, yeah, it's on the ship. <laughs> they, they stayed there staring at me, then they left. But after they left, a few minutes later, there were, there were three lambs. Am I right? Three sheep. Yeah. They came out. Now, and only they, you could, could see the goats and the sheep? or, or Nalu well, Nalu, I think everybody saw them. Am I right, Nalu? Uh, yeah, yeah, right. It, it, it remember when I was sitting there and all of a sudden the leaves from the tree started falling all over my head and only my head? Remember that? You were sitting off to my right in the back, far on the other side looking. And the trees uh -huh. started shaking and the leaves all came down on my head. What did I say? I hope no bird shits on my head. <laughs> Remember that? I a little bit forgot. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty. That's after my hat went. The next thing was the leaves of the tree. And it only happened to me. And then after that, we, the, the, the doves, the white birds, the doves, they started flying all around me. Remember? <clears throat> Remember the birds, the white doves? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's uh, when you fin when we finish the ritual in the in the temple boko, there is a there is a a couple a couple duff. I mean, not, uh, a, uh, I, not a couple, Nelu, a lot. Yeah, a f yeah, a lot, lot, a lot, lot of duff is coming. It's suddenly coming from you. <laughs> and then. Yes, that's what we're coming from. But not it's, only you over there. There is me, there's Tomo, there's Yonus, there is uh, my wife. There is a... Uh, but suddenly, <coughs> they, they, they're flying over you. <clears throat> then, we, then we left the place after having some more, some more coconut. 
Cook on a bill. We uh, left. Wait, wait, Neil. Before before you go on, uh, could you could you describe like how the the tree and the leaves came down? Was it almost like a whirlwind around you? No, no. It was just they were blowing. They were just blowing. They were they were not a whirlwind. It was just like like it was just coming dropping off a tree. It, and they just kept coming. And I, I and I looked around and I looked at Nalo and everybody and they're they're sitting in sunny weather, in the sun, and I'm the only one that's getting this tree shit on me. <laughs> and, but I sat there and I said, okay, 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 and uh, it stopped. And when it stopped, that's when uh, the next step was the goat, the lamb, and then the bird. The birds flew over my head and. And I, I worried about the birds because, you know, birds shit on your head is supposed to be good luck. And I didn't want any good luck from, from bird shit. <laughs> but, but you described it as like all, the birds almost came from Neil, right? I mean, they just appeared out of nowhere or you, you sense they flocked well, around Neil. They, if you remember when we left that place, there were a lot of birds waiting for me. And they put, they put, they spread their wings so you couldn't see my back. We get the picture of that. Do you remember that, Nelu? I tried to figure it out here. Where, uh, where is the missing point? We, we should go to Skabumi, right? Yeah. The me, the, the the point was there was, I I think. I got the blessings of uh, a past, uh, from the past, because of all the things that happened there. If that, nothing had happened there, then I wouldn't have gotten anything. Nothing at all. And I'm telling you, the goat and the sheep looked me in the eye, stared me in the eye. Everything stared me in the eye. And I believe that they were looking, they were looking, I believe then and I believe now that because the look they had, that they were looking into my soul to see if I was pure. And you getting a, you getting some understanding now? Yes, and, and this is wonderful to have the conversation with Nelu as well. So it, it fills in a lot of, of blanks. Um, but I'm just curious. I mean, the the, the goats and the sheep, uh, they they just appeared and then they disappeared. I mean, did they? go walking down the hill or they walked they didn't there wasn't any hill they were on flat ground they just walked right back into the woods where they came from huh so they appeared and disappeared they and remind me, they remind me of those three indian girls that were spinning around my body a long time before this happened and, and looking into my eyes and, and then the big tough guy come running up and looking into my eyes and and that, that was, I found out that that was basically, they were looking into my soul. Right. Okay. These, the, the, even the animals that were there in front of me at that, that, that day, they were looking into my eyes. And, and so the, the goats and the sheep came out of the wooded area and came directly to you and stared at you. They didn't meander or anything. They just kind they of. Didn't meander. No, 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 no. They just looked me right in the eye. Oh, right. they were staring at me, and then they move away. And then the next one was the sheep, and they did the same thing, and they moved away. Then the birds started flying over my head. After the after the leaves, the leaves were almost, the first thing was my hat falling off, then the leaves. Okay, then I had to brush the leaves out of my hair. And uh, then then it was something different. It was, uh, uh, it was the goats. They were coming from, it wasn't flat ground. But it wasn't high ground. It was like there was a little path that they followed from the from the woods that were next to it, and uh, and they they came walking out onto the onto the and, and it's like a stadium basically where the people used to be, and the queen used to look down on them and mm -hmm. uh, and talk to them, and this these things came out from that from a path that you couldn't see really, and they walked out three. And they just stayed there staring at me. And then when they went, then when they were done, they left. And it was like they were communicating with me, which 
I don't remember about what, but I, I remember they, I felt that. Then it was the sheep and they did the same thing. And then all of a sudden the birds were over my head. And I said, I hope they don't shit on my head. <laughs> yeah, it's, not, it's supposed to be good luck, but I don't want to have good luck with having to wash my hair with the bird shit. But, but you said those were doves, not just birds. They, they, were, they were doves. Yeah. They were doves. You got pictures of it. Yes, I, I have pictures. Uh, not where you, but it was uh, like in a courtyard. There's pictures of, of doves. Yes. Oh, that was outside the the building. In, inside the building, they were in the trees and so on. Okay. Yeah, because you so said you came across other birds afterwards. So, no, I didn't come across other birds. They were the same birds. They were doves. Okay. So, I, I that was that was inside. They were all around my head, and then we we left after they 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 were back to their trees and so on. They disappeared, and we left, and we went climbing up down the stairs <clears throat> or up the stairs, depending upon which part we were in. There were a lot of stairs to climb, and we we got back to uh, the area where we could sit and have a, a coconut juice. We had that, and then we left. And when we left, there were a lot of doves outside the building. That's what the picture you got. There were a okay. lot. There were a lot, and they all started flying behind me. And their wings were expanded so that they couldn't see my back. Hmm. They couldn't see my back. Then, but nobody, they were, I was being protected, you know. Right. And we got we got back to the car and left. I don't know where we went from there. <clears throat> it, it could be. Mm. I don't know where we went from there. Uh... Well, I, I know the river, getting the food to the river was the last ritual. Yeah, that's the last. The next, the next one. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I forget. Uh, that was that was interesting. We're getting closer to the seven, though. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. And I, I thought at the koi pond when you got the transfer of that stick, that was a, a ritual. But you're just saying that you were just given that as a gift. So. After this here, I was given the uh, the stick, the wooden stick. After this ritual, uh, with the goats and and the the doves. Back, you were... back in the hotel room, Eunice gave me the stick, the other stick. He went out and came back and gave me the stick. Oh, it seemed like it seemed like as I went further into it, I was getting more things. <clears throat> I was told I was told that after you saw Sakano's in Sakano's house, you saw the sticks. Yes. Sakano had sticks for everything. Magical sticks. Just so you know. And they were all gonna be mine uh, when I when I returned and we got a show going. <clears throat> so uh but so this other stick that you receive is that the the magical stick that opened up the uh, the bunkers? The bunkers. The bunkers. Okay. So it's also, what... it's also it's also a weapon too. You can shoot at someone with it. Yeah. I mean, I told Nalo I was going to stick it up as us, and <laughs> I started chasing him around. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so you're given a magical stick to open up the bunker. Okay. It's like and, above. I had to touch it three places. You see me in the picture with the stick. Yeah. <laughs> you see me with the Sakano's transfer of power stick in one arm, and you see me with the stick in another, in my hand. Okay. So then, shortly did after he, that, did he, put me on hold? He, did he put me on hold or did he leave? I, he, he said he had to take a, a call from the hospital. He might have left. 
Yeah, he, he's not on right now. Just leave it for a little bit. And this is wonderful to capture your, your voice and your story. This is wonderful. And the conversation between you and Nalu. Just where we, where did we leave off? We left, we left off after you had your coconut water and, and you know, the, the flock of birds as okay. well. That's pretty much it. You said, you said, um, and may, Nalu, after you hung up, uh, Neil talked about going back to the hotel. And to what? The, the hotel and um, you were given another, the, the, another stick, the magic stick that would open up the bunkers. Yeah, Nalo, confirm if I'm right. After the birds and everything and the, and the lamb and the goats, we passed, it, it was like a ritual in a way, similar to the ceremonies that they, the elders have to substantiate that your soul is pure. They look into your eyes, which they did in my case. And they see things that we they, they see and feel things that, that that we don't. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I forgot what they see. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's like that. Yeah, because uh, the reason why I'm saying that is because even that that woman from the South Seas, that big woman that came in with those two. Uh, the two, the two uh, midgets that were running around in the, in the restaurant in, uh, at uh, the Grandina. You know, she stopped and you see when she stared at me, she looked right into my eyes and when she came in, you were scared, you told me. <laughs> Sir, I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not scared with the, uh, with the I'm scared with with the makeup from the from the woman. <laughs> well, she was like the cartoon character that there was Walt Disney. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. She looked like the, the one that was the bad one under the sea. With the like with the, the makeup and the makeup was like, true. Le, you know like something? Nalo. I uh, don't know where she came from, but we were in her room. That afternoon, remember, nobody gets in that room. We were in that room. We were in her room, the, her and Sicano's room, when they, where they would meet. We were there. You were taking pictures when you weren't supposed to. Remember, you were telling me, sir, say, put your shoulder over here a little more so I can hide the camera. <laughs> but you got some pictures, right? Uh-huh. You remember that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, okay, but we, we left that room that day. Uh-huh. And we we went around, did whatever we were going to do, I guess. Then we went down to the beach that night, and we had something to eat with that little, that little store, that little kiosk, right? Yeah. And we looked upstairs in the hotel in her, on, on her balcony, Terrazzo, the light was on. There were people up there. That was her, I'm sure, in the two in the two things she had with her, the two midgets. Yeah. Okay, she came. She came because we were there. You know that, don't you? She didn't just come for the hell of it. She left as soon as she got she got to peek at me. And if you saw how she looked at me on the way out, on the way in, she just stared at me. I stared at her too. I told you, um, I'll stare at. She wants to stare at me. I'll stare at her. <laughs> Who knows what she could do? Though, wave her hand, and we'd go away forever. But uh, I stared at her. She went down after staring for a while, and with, and with the, the, the the little midgets or whatever you call them, I don't know, dwarfs. I don't know. They they were, if you notice, they were they were skipping. Skipping is the word. They were skipping, but they were. One was going from right to left, and the other was going left to right, so that they were interweaving all the way down in front of her to the to the buffet. And when she stopped, they went down on their own, and she stared at me. And then they came back, 
and she went with them. But on the way out, again, she stared at me. If you remember, on the way out, she stopped and stared at me again. This time, she smiled a little bit and she nodded her head. Just one little nod, yes. Just a little, little nod. Like a nod is just moving your head down just a little bit like, okay. You know? Uh -huh. And then they left and we didn't see them again, right? But it, mm -hmm. was, it was later after you returned from the, the beach and having something to eat at the kiosk that it was later at night that you said you saw the lights in the balcony. Is yeah, that green. Balcony? Green light. Green light. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. We saw that. In the next in the next morning, they were there at breakfast. But we were there that afternoon. And that that grand that that, that person, Lata, whatever, Lata, some putri Lata or something. I don't know. Uh the Queen of the South Sea. Is that's who that's supposed to be. In the morning she was there with her. I, I, I don't still don't know what to call her. But uh yeah, no, you miss you meet her first. Huh? You meet her first before no. all of us see, right? What? You the first one who saw them. No, we were, we were having breakfast at the table when she walked by. And she stopped. You with Charles, I guess. I I, I had well, I, I heard there. a story after that. And then Thomas the second time there. Thomas wasn't there, Charles was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Charles was there, and you were there, I believe. No, I'm the second time, sir. Oh, you were there when she came back. After you, after you, from the restaurant, you're going to the room, and you tell me, and you told me about that, and then we're going back again to the restaurant, then you, then you tell me it's them. It was them, huh? Yeah. So that was after the green light, and I remember Charles sharing with me about the balcony, that the, there was some magical thing happening between the balconies. So was that the balconies with the Queen of the South Sea? It must be, because that's the only balcony. I forgot. There is that, that she's standing in the, at the balcony at the night when the light come up. See, I didn't see her, but I, I, I saw shadows and images. I did, but in the morning. Yeah, yeah. I, I, what I remember that uh, not only light. After the light, he's standing in front of the balcony. He, he's showing he, she, she's showing herself. Wow, you saw more. You something saw something I didn't. That's why we're talking now. Yeah. Okay, because the first time I saw her was in the morning when she came in. She had that oh, big. That big green robe on, like in the pictures you see of her. Yeah, for the note, uh, Jean, that room is never sold since that hotel is built. Nobody can go. Nobody can go in the room, Jean. Yeah. But you were given as a guest. The room. Allowed. Yeah, the room. The room is a. Uh, that there's no number in that room. Only a private in the door. Okay. It, Jean, also, going back a little bit, uh, the where, where President Sicano is buried, where, where he's buried, uh, that took place after hours. No one gets into that place after hours. We did. Yeah, you could tell by the pictures it was late at night. Yeah, but it was only us in there. Nobody else could get in because it was opened up specially for us. Am I right, Nano? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, uh, first the the Kawas brother, uh, magic man, the magic, the magic man, man, the magic man, the magic man talked to the hotel management. Then the hotel management get a surprise. Wow, they said. And then uh, magic man uh, explained the situation. And they suddenly uh, give a permit to Neil to get answer to the room and doing a ritual over there. Mm. How about that, huh? 
Yeah, that was very special because you had that opportunity for your prayers and spiritual aspect. Because well, there's pictures of you with the flowers. And, but that's when you, you saw the, the lions, the white lions, right? That, it, was there a roar or just you visually saw the white lion? I, I saw oh. it. You saw, Neil, go ahead. Tell me what you saw. My, my experience when entered that room with Neil, we are on the beach. Uh, all rooms have a warm atmosphere, okay? Like a like a like a room uh, uh, around the beach, like a usually room on the beach. But when we enter that room, it's like a room at the mountain. Cool. It was a cool. Yeah. It's a, there's no there's no hot atmosphere in inside that room it's only cool and quiet and silent this is true. This is and true. i i had a good i had a goosebump uh when 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 i'm inside in that room goosebumps yeah okay yeah they right will have, they will have a lot of goosebumps on this journey <laughs> yeah so you're talking about they, the, you're talking about the have, where they had a gila monster run between his legs when he was in the mountains when the lights went out. <laughs> when it got real, real dark in the middle of the afternoon. Do you remember that? Yeah. I mean, I asked you, Nalu, can you see? You said, no, sir. And I said, it's dark, right? You said, yes, sir. I said, I'm not the only one seeing this. No, sir. And then that thing climbed the mountain. Remember? They yeah. Go, it, when the lights came back on, it was this shadow, black shadow was climbing the mountain. I said, Neil, do you see this or am I going crazy? He said, you're not crazy, sir. I see it too. And I said, it's climbing the mountain, Nalu. He said, yes, sir. And then it started getting bigger and bigger as it climbed the mountain. And then it finished the mountain in no time at all, you know? And it went up yeah. to, the mountain, to the top of the mountain. It went up. It looked down and it waved down. And then it went behind the tree. And then... After we, we started talking about what just happened, because it, it it would be reminiscent, it would be reminiscent to something like a, 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 a eclipse of a sun, because it was the middle of the afternoon and it was 85, 90 degrees outside, and it, all of a yeah. sudden it got black, it got black in the middle of the afternoon. It was that was for us too. <laughs> yeah. That was for us. And then while it was black, Nalu felt something going through his leg, underneath his legs, and it was a, it was a gila monster, a big gila monster. That remember you saw it? We saw it going under the rock, under under the log. And what was in the log, Nalu? It was that damn python, that that big python. And all along, in that whole damn thing, was a white cobra, just hanging there watching everything. Huh? And the monkey. It's a rare. It's a rare. It's a rare cobra uh, gene. Well, I remember cobra is only uh, uh, black, uh, gray, uh, brown, but this is white. Like an albino, an albino. Yeah. Nail. What I learned is a cobra, white cobra, doing what it did in regards to us. It means welcome. Yeah, white cobra is. It's watching us. White, co white cobra is, uh, it's mean the albino co cobra, but uh, it's, uh, it's very rare. Yeah, it is. And, uh, and, and that, that appeared when it got light, because you're saying it was dark and the Gila monster went through your legs. And then through that log, you saw a, a python and then the white cobra. So it got light after that? How, how long was it dark? No, no, it was. It, it seemed like it was dark for a long time, but it wasn't. But you know, when you're in the dark in the middle of the day, and you can't see, if you see your hands in front of your face, and I'm scary. Nalo, tell them the monkeys. Uh, 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 not Nalo. Uh, Magic Mikawa. I'm telling Kawa the monkeys are coming together. <laughs> well, Kawa. before that, you must, you must, uh, you must. Describe how the path going up to the grave up the mountain, sir. I told him. Uh, I told him, but you yeah. tell him. I told him. If you, if you, uh, wrong step, 
you will be uh, going down to the valley. It's a uh, hundred meters down. Okay. And the step is only fit for two step. Cannot two person in one step. Mm. Only one person. It's only fit for one, uh, two feet only. Oh. So, uh, and there is a, uh, there is a, uh, we must, we must hanging in the tree. There is a cut step. So we must hang in the tree to continue to the next step. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah. Yeah. So there is a, uh, one or two step is, uh, fall down to the valley so if we must we must jump and we must hanging on the tree <laughs> oh. that's horrible so that's you had, horrible you had almost had to take a leap you were hung on to the tree branch to take a almost like a leap one step at a time huh. but this this is was this on the way to the magic man's bunker because i know that you were tempted to go to yeah the yeah yeah this is a magic man bunker we didn't go and, to any other. We didn't go to any other bunker. We went to Magic Man's bunker. Oh, I thought you attempted first to go to the Sultan's bunker, and you. Oh, you bunker we never got to. Yeah, but you attempted, but you never, you never made it. Okay. We should have made it. We and then, well, talk about what we're doing now. Uh, um, what we know the the magic man bunker uh from his explanation this is not only a treasure it's also including a sukarno car uh because this is the cave uh the sea cave you know so there is a sukarno car there is a submarine submarine uh from the uh, from the World War II, uh, everything inside there, the uh, war equipment. It's not only a treasure. Because oh. there, there's another bunker that has the Carnot's plane, but you're saying this one has a submarine and a car, and because yeah. it's near the ocean, so it was a there was an entrance from the ocean to bring the submarine. Yeah, in. yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, yes, was, yeah, of course. There is there is a there is a water cave uh, direct to the ocean from this from this bunker. Ah, but it, the, the climb was steep, so the bunker was fairly high. As you said, you had a, a fall yeah. into the valley. This mountain is directly uh, at the edge of the beach. Okay. Look, there was, there was a mistake made here. The mistake was that when we spoke to the gin, when Jean did, she asked me what, what did I need? And I said, I said we need uh, about 12 inches for the door to be open so we know it's open and we can go in. Okay? okay. When we look through the hole, when we look through the hole, those boulders opened a little, and we could see the bunker down below. Remember, Nalu? Yeah. We could see the bunker. <coughs> and the dunk, and the bunker. <coughs> Joey. Okay. And the bunker. But the, but the, but the bunker is crossing by the big, big, big rocks. Yes. But we could see through. We had, we had a place where our eyes could see the door to the bunker. Oh, we almost get in. We almost get into the bunker when the when the stone is start falling down. <laughs> I told her about and, that. That's the avalanche. Yeah, I, I when at time we think that the 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 landslide will be will be collapsed, and that's why we get run. <laughs> oh look, we were at the. I had the stick in my hand, and Nayla was telling me where to touch. A magic man was standing next to me to my left. Nayla was behind. And I touched the wrong place two or three times. And Nayla, no, sir, no, sir. Here, here, here. Okay. So I went and did the three. And I couldn't see it. 
Nelo could see it. I said, it's not moving, Nelo. Nelo says, sir, it's moving. <clears throat> Slow, but it's moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I look back. I said, it's not moving. And all of a sudden, I see rocks falling down from the top. And not big boulders, but rocks. No, oh, 20 pounds, 25 pounds. Yeah. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe even a little more. And we, we were all standing out in that area. And that's when the magic man jumped up to where those two bodies are buried, Nalu. And he says, come up here. Because, you know, on those, where we, where we jumped up to, where the two bodies were buried, that was, that was, uh, uh, that was protected. Nothing was going to happen to that. Nothing. The mountain wouldn't let anything happen to that because those two people were very, very old and uh, buried there for, it seemed like forever. And they were the ones that found the mountain. Wow. The mountain was protecting them, I think. And we, if we got up on top of that thing, that, that, that cement thing Nelo, that was there, we would be safe. And it didn't bother us when we got up there. We, we could see the rocks falling. Am I right? Yeah. That was, that was, really, that was really interesting, Gene. Yeah, and I, I noticed in the pictures uh, when you were at the grave site uh, of the Berry Bay that there were three trees. It was like a, a triangle. The, the trees were almost protecting the grave sites, too. So, huh. so it was calm. But can I can I get back to uh, when you were there? You talked about the gins, you know, this entity. Nalu, did you see the gins kind of climbing up? The oh, the three Nalu. You saw the one when the lights came back on. Okay, when the when the darkness left. But after that, when that one got to the top, if you remember, that's what I was getting to. Gene, thank you. When we were talking, and, uh, and we started talking about that after that, and, and a few other things, and Charles was in disbelief. Charles couldn't believe what he was seeing. All of a sudden, we turned around again, and there were two more climbing the mountain. Remember? Do you remember that? Yeah. Two more, but bigger than the first one. They were bigger, because gin can be big and they can be small. The next two were huge. And they climbed the that climb they climbed that damn mountain to the top in about three steps. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. You were there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I find it hard to, to imagine you, you forget ever seeing anything like that because they climbed up. Okay, and they got to the top. Then the other guy came out and they all waved and they went. They went to their right, to my left. They went to my left and they, they moved away. But those were the jinn. You remember that we were speaking to the king of the jinn. Genie was. And the, and the magic man was speaking to somebody else. And the king of the jinn told us, told Genie to tell me that they will open the doors if I get them the agro oil from uh, East Papua or West Papua. And uh, and Mm, that's what they wanted, really, was the agro oil. But when we opened the door, the, 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 the thing, the, when we left, what you didn't know, Nalo, I don't think, I didn't know for a while, uh, was that all the gin that were inside that bunker, they all got away after we left. They all moved out, and they were all happy, celebrating, and they were worshipping the ground we all walked on. For, for helping them escape the bunker. I didn't have to get the agro oil for them after that. So we didn't need the agro oil. They got home and we still didn't get the bunker, but we can see the bunker, which is a tease, which is a tease. But you can see the bunker and you, you can, Nelu had his face up against the rock when those two red eyes came. You remember that? Yeah. It's, you uh, back. I, 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 the first one saw it, saw in that. I, I, I am the first one saw that. And when you, I put my, I put you, my, you uh, fell on I, 
<laughs> I sneak to the between the rocks. You fell on your ass when you saw that coming at you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't forget. I don't forget, Neil. You fell on your ass. Neil, <laughs> Neil, put your hand inside there. What? <laughs> 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 And, and that, when you looked through the cracks, that's when you could see the door to the bunkers. But you said when you saw it, you saw red eyes looking at you. No, it was, he saw he saw the bunker, and then he saw the eyes. Another, another. Yeah. So, so uh, <laughs> let me let me describe uh, the the rocks is around the big rock, around two or three rocks, and there is a crack over there, and I can see it. I can. Is a uh, you can see the door. A big open eye. And we must. There is a, a room. I think be, uh, below the uh, below the rocks. And then if we jump there, and uh, three feet three oh, feet from to, from the place we, we jump, move, there is a we door. Have to, we have to move the rocks, Nelu. Though. Yeah, yeah we you, must move the rocks. And then you, there's a the door. Huge. I and see the I see the red eyes is in front of that door, but it's dark. That, I cannot see I cannot see the the shape or uh, from from the red, that red eyes just red because the red is uh, very clear red. So uh, I cannot see clear the shape of it. Well, what is that? But the magic man said that was the gene. Now. Now, the floor that was down there, you would think the floor would be filthy and dirty after so many years. The floor was clean. Yeah, right. The floor was clean. The door was open only a little bit, and that thing came running at Nelu. And you know what made, You know what brought that thing out was the magic man. I think that, that, mon that monkey uh, maintain, maintains that floor. <laughs> He's got my bottle of the floor. He's got my bottle of water, that monkey. Oh yeah, yeah. He drink from your water, from your bottle. Stole my water, drank from the bottle like a man. <laughs> so, you know that, that was crazy. But uh, I, I, I have a video of it. I want. I, 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 I the video I'd like because it's funny. Oh, it's funny. Yeah. Well, if we could have that video for the archives, that would be wonderful. Maybe. We got it. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Oh, we got it in the archives. But can you describe the the gym? Was it like a like a smoky dark entity, or could you see detail? I mean, oh, so red eyes. Yeah, but the the gym. The gym. Uh, we never show the the real the real shape of that gym. That gym is a. Uh, if if they're coming alone. Uh, we were showing like a light, like a something, like a that red eyes. But if they want to communicate with us, they they going they to your like like, us. Yeah, they become like us. Gene, you could go out this afternoon and find a great looking guy. Say, my God, how lucky can I be? And it could be a gin. Oh yes, I know that yeah. they, they can take different forms. I'm just that, wondering, I'm just curious about the the three gins going up. The mountains were. It well, we didn't see any face. We only saw black shadows. Okay. Black, black shadows going up. They were, the first one was small and got bigger and bigger and bigger till they got to the top. And the other ones came out big and they got up one, two, three. They were huge. And, and when they got up, they all shrunk down in size again and they waved. That was a thank you to us for opening up that door for them. Everybody else got out later. More than. I don't know how many, but there was, there was, I, I thought there was, I was told there was less than a thousand in there, but somebody told me there was 40,000 in there. Uh, so I don't know. I didn't see them come out. And they're all thanking us. All, and Nalu went back that night. We went in the afternoon. Nalu went back with the Magic Man and Kawa that night. They went back for a second time. Nalu didn't get enough the first time. He wanted it another time. I said, not me. Oh, <laughs> unless the gene is coming, uh, showing his face on your shirt with your blood. Yeah, well, that's, I know that. Gene knows about that. I got cut my arm. They cut my arm. Yeah. And that, that happened that night after 
happened? No, no, that happened in a hotel room. No, 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 no. That, that, that's uh, many days after that. That happened in a hotel room. Okay, with the yes. magic it, it, man, it, Kawa. That's happened in the daylight. Yep. Kawa, magic man, Charles, Nelu, me. And we were trying to get me secure my, so that uh, I was protected. Then I started joking about the gin. I'm not afraid of any gin. I'll kick his ass. I'll do this. I'll do all of a sudden, whoop, 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 on my shirt. And blood came from my arm. And I looked at the magic man and said, Hey, what's this? And he looked and he got me to the bathroom. And you know, Nelu, I didn't have any marks on my arm the next day. The magic man did something to my arm, uh, my shoulder. But that night, I saw the scratches or, or the, the marks on my, on my arm, remember? On my back. But the shirt, when I came out of the bathroom, I, I looked at my shirt and I told, I told Magic Man, look. I said, that's the gin, yeah? He says, gin, gin. I said, okay, it's a gin. So I said, we pulled it up, we looked at it, and the, actually, Nalo, it wasn't one gin. It was three gins. It was trying to do a third one, too, a second and a third. The second was being completed, and there's another one that was halfway done. But the one one that we had clear was gin. I still have that shirt. Yeah, and Nilo, I, I was able to talk uh, Neil into putting on the shirt and taking pictures. So we do have have that uh, in for the archives of the images because there is blood stain on it as well. I mean, those are quite the rips and the face. One has a face of a gin. Wouldn't you say, Neil? I don't know what a gin looks like, but you know, if it, it looks like a demon. Yeah. Yeah. But but the thing is, Nalu, I'm trying to with the timeline, that shirt that he has is it has the lost in paradise in the, the pocket of the shirt. Now looking Let's at you know, I, I I'll answer your question for you. Nalu, after all this happened, the East the, the Queen of the South Sea uh, that was a different ballgame. Uh, we all, all the Sultan side, okay? When we went up and we saw Sakano's tomb and everything else, we needed, we had, we had so many signatures in place, but we needed money to get, uh, to get something, uh, to finish it up. We, need, we needed yeah. to get oils for each and every elder, remember? Yep. Okay, I don't know if that's true or not, but it, we needed to do that, and we needed money. We didn't have it. I had lost my card with the uh, in the airport with the uh, in Surabaya, right? Yeah, right, right, right. Now, Surabaya happened on the way back from uh, from. Oh yeah! From if you're Blinko. coming again, you make sure you make sure with with your new card. <laughs> I have no card. All right. I have no card, but uh, that card, that machine. Now that could have this could have been spiritual too, Nalu. That machine, it gave me money. I took the money and tried to get my card, and it didn't give me my card. Then the machine said, "Do you want more money?" I said, "Of course," and it gave me more money, but it didn't give me my card. And this time, when I went to grab my card, it started moving. The take the card. The machine took the card in, and almost my fingers. I was fighting the machine. <laughs> And then I went out and I said, the machine just ate my card. I mean, you can talk about things trying to stop you from being successful. And there's a lot of stuff out there that will do it. And it's all spiritual. Many of it, some good, some bad. But that was that was not a good thing. You were there, Nalu, when that happened. Yeah. You know? But get back to the other thing again. Uh, we were We went from... Blita back to the to a Surabaya. And did we drive back together or did we take a plane back? We drove back. We all came back together in car, right? No, you drove, you fly by airplane. Okay, we flew back. Myself and Charles, right? Yeah, I drove. Before you go there, did the monkeys appear after you returned from the bunkers and the magic man? The magic the, man. Nalo wasn't there when the monkeys came. 
Okay, so that was another time. It wasn't after you, you returned from the magic man's bunker. This was another time that the no, monk... No, 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 no. This was just another time. But uh, Nelu knows the story, I'm sure. But uh, let, let's finish this. We okay. now came back. Okay? We came back. I, we flew. I thought we drove. I, uh, you're right, though. We flew. Nelu drove, and you had uh, Eunice and Tomas with you, right? Nalu? Uh, yes. Okay. Where did we go? We went back to the Hyatt? And Yogi Akata? Or back to Samarang? Uh, Samarang. Is that when we met the Sultan that time after all this took place? Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that makes sense. Right. We met, that's when we met, I met the Sultan over in the military hotel. Okay. Is that the name of it, the military hotel? Yeah, Patra. Patra. Okay, so yes. we, we met him there, and that's okay. That's what that's that. Uh, that's when Tomas was told that he's got a six month uh, uh, suspension. Am I right? Yeah, because like Tomas was Tomas wasn't there when we arrived, and uh, the, the, he wanted Tomas there, and he told somebody to call Tomas, and Tomas came right over from Malaysia. Am I right? Yeah. But okay. okay, makes sense. That makes sense. That add, it's adding up. The timeline is adding up, but you have to remember one thing, Gene. Yeah. That the trip to Indra Mayo has nothing to do with the Sultan's trips. Okay? They're separate. When we had to get the money, when I had to find the money to get the, that bottle of agata oil or oil, whatever it is, and they had to split them up in bottles, that's after I lost my cod. Okay. And, and we had to try to find the money. And we didn't have it. And I called home and... and if, I couldn't get money through the banks because the same way now as it was then, the Rothschilds and everybody shut me off. They they blocked me. They don't want us winning. Right. You know, so there was no money. I finally ended up getting some money to do that, finally. But while we were waiting in between, I think it was Nailu's idea, let's go let's go do the try to do the, the magic man's bunker because then we'll have all the money we need. Ah. So we went to do the Magic Man's Bunker at that point, and that's when we, we went back there. We went there. Because you, you had the stick to open up, because that was what you received as a gift after you, you went to see the goats and the lambs and everything. That's That gave you the power to open up the bunkers, correct? Well, I had the stick. It, that, from what I understood, that could open any bunker. And no one could open a bunker unless they had that stick. Am I right, Nalu? Yeah. That's what I understood. And we had a stick. And we, and we, we tried it up in the mountains in Indramayu. Uh, not Indramayu, in uh, Chikabumi. And, and the rocks moved. But if we continued to move it, then we'd have an avalanche, a big avalanche. Right. We stopped. We didn't touch anything with the stick after that. I tried to get Nalu a few times, chasing him around with the stick, but he wouldn't let me wouldn't let me get him. <laughs> but could, could you describe when you had the meeting with the Sultan at the military hotel after after you returned from the Magic Man's bunker? What was that? Did you just report, uh, give him an update of your spiritual rituals? Or? He, he, he already had all the updates. That's what that's what Eunice and Thomas was to do. Okay, so just had conversation with him, or he just wanted to. He wanted to meet me. Oh, so that was the first time you met the Sultan. He wanted to meet me. He's a good guy. He's a real he's a real good guy. You know he uh. He made it clear. He made a lot of things clear. You know, he told me a lot of things. He told me how it was going to work, how he was going to set things up. And But we needed first to get the bottle of the elixir, of the oil. 
So we had to, we, couldn't, we couldn't get his signature unless we we finished that up. Anything to add to that, Nalo? Yeah. Ah, uh, sir. Yes. Can we continue this night, my time? Go ahead. Go do your things. I know you got things to do. Go ahead. Yes. I must go to the hospital. Okay. Thank you, Nalu. Yeah, we'll finish up. Thank you, up. Jean. <laughs> All right. I could be called anything at all, I had to pass the ritual. He's the one that did that. He's the one that told Thomas and Jonas and the prince to set the rituals. Right, right. And he waited to get, he's very patient. He waited to get the answers. In the end, he, we, we was, he, was, he gotten almost all the answers and he told me what I had to do. He says, you can't get my signature until I do that. Until I, you get the oil. And I got the oil and I got a signature. You know? Yeah, I mean, he still hadn't done the uh, the food giving at the rivers yet. Yes, he has. Oh, but you had done, you had already done that when you met the Sultan? Uh, I think, I think so. Yeah, I think no. it was. That, no, it, that? Came out, it, came, it came after. And, uh, and it was just, that was really just a ritual. Yeah, that was like the final ritual. So it was after you. But, 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 but the stuff had to go to three different rivers. It broke up at three, the crossroads of three rivers and it had to go each way. So it, it's not an easy thing to do. But the following morning, the 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 the, the sultan called and 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 told uh, and told everyone that uh, we we were successful. Okay. So we were successful, and I beat Eunice. That was like a race for me. The the other thing, yes, because there are pictures of the oil, but you also had um, kind of a seance ritual. The pictures of you having a, a cloth on your lap and everything else was that after the cloth, the cloth was all about money. That where, where I put the money there and the money disappears. Uh, the 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 other thing, the with the uh, the seance, I guess. You already know about and that's when Sakano booms out and says that uh, uh, and says you have to do what Neil Keenan says. You to listen to him. You to give him what he needs. You don't question it. He made it very clear, by the way. Mm. He made it very very clear. That's the time when Nalu was Nalu got he got up when we got up. I, I said he was he was behind Eunice. I said it's only for the pure heart, Nalu. Like like, like he said, Sakano said it's only for the pure heart. And I said he's looking at you, Nalu. He says what? He's looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that that separate with the the money and the, the cloth that separate from the oil, correct? But. But no, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, it's the same. That's part of the Sultan's program. Okay. If Eunice and, and Tomas is involved, then it's part of the Sultan's program. Right. But that's what I'm saying. At the same time with the money, that's when you were also having the oil or that was a separate... Uh, no, I needed the oil in order, in order to get the agreement. Right. Okay, and the other one, I didn't need anything like that. The other one, with the with the the the, the magic man. You mean with the cloth and and all of that? Okay. That was the magic man, but the cloth is applicable also to the sultan's uh, things too, because you put if you if you cannot open up a bunker because of uh, some rituals or stuff that have been attached to it. Then you put the cloth on the top, the cloth I told you about. You put the cloth on the top, and you walk and you put rub it in, in with some of the oils that we have. And then what happens is after after you rub it, you do that, okay? After you do that, you walk away, and 15, 20 minutes later, 
You come back and pick up your cloth because it's filled with money from inside the bunk, inside the trunk. Okay. So you never have to open up the trunk because some, some trunks, you, they, they claim you can never open. So you put the cloth on top and the money will rise into the, and with, the with the oils, it'll rise into the cloth through the bunk, through the, the, the cover of the trunk. Okay. And that yeah. happened? That occurred? Huh? And that occurred? No, it didn't occur. We never got into the bunker. Yeah, right. We were there. We were at that bunker. And we were at the foothills of the other one. Okay, now look. You ready? Yeah. This has been sitting here a long time, but I've held it, and it's good. Oh, you can't see unless I put it on the camera. Yeah, yeah, turn on the camera. I'm envisioning it, Neil. Oh. This is what you put on the cloth. And this is all spiritual things for getting the bunker and so on. Huh. This is $50,000 this year. Wow. All magical oils. Oh. That's magnificent. Take a picture if you can while I'm here. I, I, that's what I'm looking at, What I, how I can take a picture. I'm looking at all these little gadgets here, interval screen. Oh. This oh, guy. No. Share a screen. Take a snapshot. Okay. All right. I've got that. You, give me... Give me another one. Give me another thing. Take a snap. I like that. Oh, good. Okay. Fantastic. You never saw that, I don't think. No. I've been too busy showing the, the, the rods. But this is this is all magical. I have it, and I'm ready to go. Wow. How's that? How's that? But you didn't have that when you went to the Magic Man's bunker. This is that. This was given to you afterwards. No, when I went to the Magic Man's bunker, I was looking to make money to buy to purchase it. Right. Okay. And, and we, we, we almost got in there, but not quite. It still cost quite a bit of money just doing what I did there. Yeah. It cost well, me about thirty, forty, fifty, maybe sixty thousand. But I didn't have that money all at once in order to, like, I could buy the oil, you know? And the different colors, that, that's what intrigues me. So each, each oil is a different color. Each oil has a different scent or a different this or a different that. Okay. Or a different frequency or whatever. But it's, they're all different. So do you call that a uh, like a oil stick or wand or? I don't call it anything. Okay. I don't call it anything. It's just a, in order to open, open to get into. Ch Joey, shut up. Joey, Joey, shish, shish. Is he outside with the sheep? Good boy. Ah. <laughs> uh, There's people go by. He boxes people because they don't. They tease him. Some people tease him. Sure. But still, he's free. He's in the yard and digging holes and running after sheep. <laughs> but you, Neil, I'm still trying to figure out this timeline because that, that shirt, Lost in Paradise, you wore at the beach when you announced you, you know, you're the an Amina. When um, I went, when I went to the... In, in the uh, Chickaboomi, in the Grandina, I had, that was after coming from Magic Man's house, second time. Magic Man went ahead, I already had already been, already had been got cut. So no, uh, the second time I went to the, through, when I went up with, when I went there with Magic Man and climbed the mountain and so on, I had already been cut by the uh, by the gym. Okay, huh? I had already been cut. Because 
okay, because <laughs> this is where the I mean, who knows with the time and different dimensions because you are wearing that paradise shirt at the beach and also when you received the agreement. So you wouldn't have worn that shirt after it was torn, I wouldn't think. No, I don't think so either. Yeah, so it, it just kind of, it just doesn't go in sync with the, the timeline. And it's so funny that, you know, the it name- might, It might go with the timeline if if I got the shirt ripped while I was at the Grand Ina. And I think that's what happened. Okay. When I, was in, when I was at the Grand Ina in Chickabomi, okay? Okay. That's when I got the shirt ripped. While we were on our way to the bunker, I stayed at the Grand Ina. We all did. And we so we went to the, the Queen of the South Seas room. And we went to the mountain and to the bunkers. And I got the shirt ripped too. Magic Man was on outside on the terraza, uh, meditating and saying prayers, but then he said he had to go to the mountain. Okay. okay. He said he had a good relationship with the the the, the, the Pudre Lata. That's the Queen of the South Sea. Okay. That's when it happened. It happened in. That answers our question. It happened in the Grand Ina. That that night before you went, you went to the uh, bunker. I don't know if we went the next day. I think I think the magic man was up in the mountains at that time, and uh, we were waiting for him to come back. And when he didn't come back, Kawa, his brother, went up and found him. And he came back, and we could come back after he got. We could go to the bunkers after he got some strength, because he was weak. Mm. Okay. He was, he was almost dead. Oh, from going up there, the energy. Well, he used the energy and leaving his body. Right. Because he left his body. So, yeah, that's what happened up there. But, but still, the agreement was after all of that, after uh, the burn and everything the, else, the, right? The, the, the agreement was already written. But not signed by the Sultan. Joey! Shh. Okay. Joey! Shh. Joey's a baka. You stop it. Go lay down if you're gonna bark. Go lay down. Bark in your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the noise you made? Yeah, <laughs> talking again. <laughs> With his mouth closed, so he can't get in trouble. <laughs> so and that's what happened. You got you got the timeline now. Yeah, it's still right. That's it. That's it. Because <laughs> I only went to Chick Chickabomi once with the Magic Man. The second time I went with Joe and Thomas, and that's when we made our own video talking about how everybody up above in the military were taking the stuff out. Everything's in line. We, we get, we're cleaning up the, the bunker. Okay. Well, Stop recording the call.